it is finally fixed. And no, my eyes are like this not because I cried of happiness, it's because I just woke up. Um, so yeah, recently VG released the new patch, which addressed the problem of invisible players. Let me show you this, there we go. We've installed a technical patch, the game will not stop, blah 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 blah, who cares? Fix the main cause of invisible players in the raids, we're continuing to work out the fix until the issue is completely removed, so hopefully it is fixed now. I think it was to do with the client synchronization, I'm not entirely sure, but if I had to bet my money, I would bet that the clients couldn't synchronize properly with each other, and that resulted in invisible players glitch. Fixed the volume of in-raid sounds. Sounds that are controlled by the interface volume setting are now divided into two categories. Categories? Categories. Categories. Sounds that are controlled by the interface volume settings are now divided... Yeah. Sounds that are adjusted by the interface volume setting out of raids and are identical for all players in raids. Loading and loading max, interacting with weapon attachments and armor, moving items in the inventory. I think this is really poor wording and um, I got confused whenever I read it for the first time so I, so I had to go for the Russian. Uh, post and see the original wording. So what it means is you can change the volume settings for loading and loading max, interacting with weapons and moving uh, items in the inventory in your settings. However, that sound change is going to be implemented only out of raid. So whenever you're in your main stash, loading and loading max, there the sound will change. However, when you're in the, in the raid, the sound volume is going to be the same for all players and you can't change it. You will hear the other players do like unload load max you can hear yourself load unload max and you cannot change that sound volume yep okay sounds that are adjusted by the interface volume setting in and out of rates notifications open and closing inventory clicking on any functional ui elements okay cool cool and the other update for today is that weapon skill rate at which you level up your weapon skills have been bumped by 40 percent so pistols, SMGs, shotguns, and all the other type of weapons, you level it up 40% faster. Whenever you level up those skills, you reduce the recoil for the guns. For example, whenever you shoot and you hit your target with assault rifles, that levels your assault rifle skill. And with every single level, your recoil reduces further. And the other thing, I think BSG decreased ergonomics, sorry, decreased ergonomics buff, which is good for us. Ergonomics, ergonomics are going to be better on different helmets. For example, Alton went from negative 17% on uh, turning speed to negative 8, which is, which is a good thing, better for us. I also don't really agree with the whole mechanic of um, changing turning speed, changing movement speed. You know, like, the heavier, the heavier you become in the game, the slower the sensitivity of you moving your gun is and it's really strange because you can just change your sensitivity and it's like it makes no difference you know what i'm saying so yeah i don't really i'm not the biggest fan of this mechanic however it is still in the game those are all the news for today feel free to check out my other videos they should be right there if you haven't seen them yet and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care